this is Lian So from the Science Scribe, and in this video we're going to look at equivalence point pH. Let's say for example we're running a weak acid versus strong base titration. My weak acid is going to be 20 ml of 0.113 mol per liter ethanoic acid, which you can say is going in the flask, and my strong base is going to be sodium hydroxide at 0.0987 moles per liter. To go about trying to calculate the pH at equivalence point, we're going to use an ice table. We've seen ice tables in a previous video on buffer calculations. To work out the initial moles of ethanoic acid which I start out with in the flask, I need to use this formula N equals C times V. My concentration and volume are given in the question. All I need to do though is make sure that my volume is converted into liters. Now at equivalence point I would have added just enough sodium hydroxide to react with all of my ethanoic acid in the flask. Note that my equation says that it's going to be a 1 to 1 ratio, so that means I need the same amount of sodium hydroxide as well. When the ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide react in a 1 to 1 ratio, it's also going to form one sodium ethanoate on the other side. We can update our ice table by calculating how many moles of each species is left at the end. To work out the new concentration, we're going to come back to C equals N over V. This time I'm trying to work out the concentration of sodium ethanoate. I've worked out how many moles I've got in the ending moles. All I need to do now is work out the new volume. Now all I know is that I started with 0 0.020 litres of ethanoic acid, and I would have added some volume of sodium hydroxide. I need to work out what that volume of sodium hydroxide was. The number of moles of sodium hydroxide we said was the same as the number of moles of ethanoic acid, and the concentration of sodium hydroxide is given in the question. So all we have to do now is move those values into that formula, and that gives us a volume of sodium hydroxide at 0.0229 litres. If you were sketching a titration curve, you would need to use this volume on your x-axis. This means my total volume in the flask at equivalence point is 0.0429 litres. This lets me calculate the concentration of sodium ethanoate. And since sodium ethanoate is a weak base, and I'm trying to find the pH at equivalence point, this is like saying that I want to find the pH of a weak base. So we're going to do just that. We're going to find the pH of 0.0527 mol per litre weak base ethanoate. We always start with an equation and then follow it up with a K expression. We substitute the products at the top and the reactants at the bottom, and these are for concentrations. We've been given a value of Ka, and the question is 1.75 times 10 to negative 5, but I've got a Kb expression, so we have to change Ka to Kb using this formula, Ka times Kb equals 10 to negative 14. We're going to rearrange it, and we're going to move Ka in, this then gives me a value for Kb which I can bring back into my original formula. We also made assumptions like the original concentration of weak base shouldn't change very much and that the concentration of hydroxide and the ethanoic acid should be equal as well since they're in a 1 to 1 ratio. I can now rearrange this to find the concentration of hydroxide ions. But to find the pH, I need to know the concentration of hydronium ions. So I'm going to change my hydroxide ion concentration into hydronium ions using this formula. Rearrange it, and that tells me that the concentration of hydronium ions is 10 to negative 14 divided by the hydroxide ion concentration, which I just found. Now that I know the concentration of hydronium ions, I can go back to my pH formula. Move that value in, put it on the calculator, and this tells me that at equivalence point, the pH should be 8.74. Let's say on the other hand we run a different titration. This time it's a weak base against a strong acid. My weak base is going to be an ammonia solution which is 15 mL at 0.102 moles per litre, while my strong acid is going to be hydrochloric acid. Same as before, we're going to run with an equation in an ice table. We're going to work out the initial moles of ammonia that we started with in the flask. So we use N equals C times V. Concentration and volume are given. All we have to do, remember, is to change our volumes into litres. 
We also said that at equivalence point, just enough hydrochloric acid should be added so that it reacts with all of the ammonia in the flask. And since this is in a one-to-one -one ratio, this means that I should get the same amount of hydrochloric acid in the flask as well. Once they do react, it should form the same amount of NH4+, my ammonium ions. This is because everything's in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. I can then go ahead and update my table. And this tells me that at equivalence point, all I have left is my ammonium ions. I'm going to work out the concentration of ammonium ions using C equals N over V. I've worked out how many moles of ammonium I've got, but I don't know what volume I have in the flask right now. But I did start with 15 mils of ammonia solution, and I added some volume of hydrochloric acid. So to work out the total volume, I need to know what that volume of hydrochloric acid was. We have this formula C equals N over V, and we're just going to rearrange it to get V. I know how many moles of hydrochloric acid I had, because that's what I worked out in my ice table. I also know the concentration of hydrochloric acid because that was in the question. We're going to substitute those values in. This tells me that I needed 0 0.0143 litres of hydrochloric acid from my burette. This means in total, I should have 0 0.0293 litres in the flask right now. That's about 29.3 mils. Anyway, once we move that value for the volume in, this tells me the concentration of ammonium. This is like saying that we're trying to find the pH of a weak acid. We're going to go ahead and do just that. We're going to find the pH of a 0.0522 mole per litre weak acid NH4+. We always start with the equation with water and then we're going to run with a K expression. Products at the top and reactants at the bottom. The value for Ka has been given to us and my expression is for Ka since it's an acid so I don't have to change anything here. I can use it straight away. Our assumptions stay the same as before, like the original concentration of the weak acid shouldn't change much, and that the concentration of NH3 and H3O plus are in a one-to-one -one ratio, so they should be the same as well. We can then rearrange it to find the value of hydronium ion concentration. Once I know the hydronium ion concentration, I can go ahead and use the pH formula. I don't have to change anything here since the pH formula accepts a concentration of H3O+, so we can move it straight in. This tells me that at equivalence point, my pH should be 5.26.